Hello everyone, this is Rahul Babar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to discuss another interesting uh, scenario based interview question that was asked in Oracle and it was for level 2. So the question was getting the second maximum order date for each customer here. Okay, so let me you know, uh, revise the question again here. Getting the second maximum order date for each customer here. So this question is a little tricky. Let us go and solve this and while I do so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because regularly we will be discussing about interview questions and scenarios. So if you see here, for Aaron, if I take as an example, I have 18th February, 7th March and 10th 11 2020 as three orders that he has placed or three order dates that I am getting. Okay, so in this if at all I want to get the second maximum order date, then this would be 0703 right? Agreed. Likewise, if I go for Aaron Hawkins, there are so many orders for him. So he has placed order in 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. Likewise, maximum order date or the last order date was like on December 18, 2021. Before that, he placed in March 2020, right? Now, this is what I want to get here. Let us try to build. So before we do that, if at all, I want to get the same thing in SQL. It is pretty easy. And if you are following that, uh, or if you are getting logic in SQL, then I think it will be pretty much same at a tableau level. So I'm finding out select a max salary from employee table where my salary is less than so here i'm calling again select max of uh sal from him now first what will happen here so from here i'm considering all of my salaries but i'm comparing it with my maximum salary already so the second max will come here now let us try to implement this at a tableau level. So I've taken customer name and I've taken order dates, three dates I got. Let us first find out what is our maximum order date for each customer. So this we can achieve it using uh, LOD function. So I'm writing it as uh, max maximum order date for each customer. And I'm, I'm using fixed LOD for each customer. So fixed, we know that we have to read it as for. So for each customer, get me maximum of order date. In English, simple English, if at all I want to convert, I can convert it like this. For each customer, get me maximum order date. So this should return the maximum order date. Click on apply. Okay, so if I take it and drop it here, I'll convert it into discrete and exact date. And then let us, let us, let us uh, convert it into discrete. So it is taking some time to load. Generally, it does not take that much of time. I'm making it discrete. Now you see, we got the maximum date for each customer. So here it is showing 10 and here it is showing 18. Now, but according to our requirement, we need this date, 20 March 2020 or 7th March 2018. Let us try to get that. So for that, again, I'm using another LOD function and I'm calling it as the second maximum, second max order date for each customer. Again, I'm using the same concept of fixed LOD I'm using. So for each customer, okay, get me maximum of what if my order date is less than uh, our maximum order here. Maximum order that we have placed, then give me order date and it. So what I'm doing, I'm taking all the other order dates that are less than our maximum order date. So here, if I consider this example, 
what will get seven the march will get and 18th february these two will get again what is maximum in these two will get 7th march okay so okay. so i need to close my bracket here okay so i hope you understood this logic i am considering only those order date that are less than the maximum order date here so in this case we will get all the other date except this 18th so now from our first calculation tableau will find a maximum from this list one two three four five six so in this what is the maximum 20 is the maximum so that is what we need let us see click on apply and i'm taking this second maximum order date and let us convert it into exact date and discrete like we did earlier and let us validate so I want you all to reach to this level where you can solve this type of complicated questions that we might get in interview. So if you are you know, really able to solve questions at this level, I think no one can stop you from getting the job. Okay, now you see we are getting the result what we need. Okay. So I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.